I've had a love-hate relationship with my RV roof for two years now, and I'm gonna end it. I'm climbing up here now, it's over. Hi guys, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera, and Susan's behind the camera. Today, we're gonna be talking about getting a new roof on our 2008 Class C RV. As some of you know, we've been battling a roof leak for about two years now, and it's over. I'm done with all that. Anyway, if this is your first time visiting us on our channel, welcome aboard. We make all kinds of videos all about RVing, and we also have our website, rvblogger.com, where we literally have hundreds of articles all about RVing as well. So, back to our roof. As you know, we've been battling this roof leak We've had damage done to our RV in the overcab area, and uh, it's been going on for two years. We've tried all kinds of things to fix it. We had a pressure test done to try to get bubbles to blow out where the leaks were occurring. Uh, and then on those spots, we've used Dicor, we've used Eternabon, we've used Flex Seal, and uh, nothing seems to have done the trick. Um, you might have even seen our other video, can you use Flex Seal on an RV roof? And you can, but it's really only meant for emergency situations. So we tried it, we, it helped for a while, but it didn't last. So the solution at this point uh, is just to go ahead and get a new roof on the RV. Ours is a 2008 Class C RV, and it leaks in the overcab, which is very, very common for Class C RVs. Uh, the roof's about 12 years old now anyway, so you know, it's kind of lived its life. It's time to go ahead and get a new roof. So we found a company called Pasadena Bedlinings. They are pros, no more DIY, trying to fix the leaks here and there. We're gonna go all the way, get the job done right. And so uh, let's hit the road and check out Pasadena Bedlinings. Here we are at Pasadena Bedlinings and the owner, Rob Mace, is inspecting our RV roof. You may have even seen Rob at the Maryland or Hershey RV shows. Anyway, the first thing Rob does is walk around and look for soft spots on the roof, which would indicate water damage to the plywood underneath the rubber roof. And we also looked at spraying the factory seals on each side of the overcab, since this is a major leak point on most Class C RVs. We chose to use Pasadena bed linings because we wanted a durable one-piece roof with no seams. And we learned that the material used for spray-on bed linings in pickup trucks is perfect for RV roofs. The spray-on polyurea, which looks like black rubber, is virtually indestructible. And now there are many bed lining companies who use this material in white instead of black to replace old RV roofs. Here's the whole process in a nutshell. First, all the vents, the AC unit, and the antenna are removed. Then the plywood is inspected for water damage and replaced where necessary. And then the roof is sprayed with the polyurea coating. Now, let's check out all the steps to replace the roof on our RV. So you'll notice that Rob's behind me right now. And what he's done is he's taken off all of the roof protrusions that have flanges, like the roof vents, uh, the vent that goes in the bathroom, all that stuff. He pulls them all off, cleans them all up, and then he tapes them off, and then he screws them back on to the RV roof. Just do a little section at a time, warm it up, save it. You probably have all this done by lunchtime. No, <laughs> not with this much car car here. <laughs> so that's all water in there. Oh yeah. You never knew that was thing that was leaking. Nope. It's like a geyser. See, I don't know if it's <laughs> just located to this pocket, but let's go in inside. Let's go in and find out how far it goes. And here's how the water got in. You can see here behind me that Rob even took the antenna base off of the roof. And so now he's getting all that cleaned up as well. So there's no leftover caulk or residue on there so that when he sprays the new roof on there it'll stick really really well every single thing every flange every protrusion in the roof he's just meticulous about making sure he gets them super clean and gets the maximum amount of clean surface for the new roof to stick to 
So far, the only spot that we found on the roof where we had any wood rot was in the back corner uh, behind where the skylight would be. Skylight's over the shower, as you can see. But this back corner here, that wood got wet. There was a little bit of a leak back here. And so Rob's gonna have to replace, you know, this sort of L-shaped piece of plywood. And so he's working on that now, and uh, we should be in good shape after that. Now, we still need to pull up all of the rest of the rubber on the roof, but just from walking around and looking at things, this really looks like the only spot where we have any significant wood problems. We'll see when we pull up the rest of the rubber what we have. So what we're doing now is we are outlining a pattern for where this um, quarter inch tape is gonna go. We're gonna go right over top of this decal all the way around and finish up there at the top. And then after we get this tape on, we'll come back with a razor knife and we'll trim this vinyl piece right here. So when we spray, we'll remove this vinyl so the coating is gonna be directly adhered to this fiberglass underneath and that way it'll uh, stick. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side, on the underneath, follow it up and around. What this is, I don't know if you can see, but uh, it has a little fishing line on the edge. Maybe when I get up to the top, I'll peel a little bit of, of it off and show it to you. But what this does, after we spray it, we're gonna grab this little rope right here and we're gonna pull it and it's gonna cut this coating nice and clean and straight. Can you see it? This is the string. Yep. And we're gonna pull this when we're done and it's gonna cut this coating nice and straight. Sweet. What we're doing here is we're removing this vinyl decal here so the coating will stick directly to the fiberglass. So after we pull this line and we spray this coating, it'll look like the decal ends right here where the coating begins like it came from the factory like that. We're heating this decal up to try to get the glue to release. Otherwise, if you just try to peel this off, it'll just keep ripping like this. Um, and the colder it is, the more it breaks. So heating it up definitely uh, helps get it off a little bit quicker. Uh, that's why we're doing this stuff. And be careful that you don't heat it up too much, otherwise you just melt the decal. So it's a little fine line here. So you can see how it's coming off a little bit easier now, all in one piece. So we also want to be careful that we're not, we don't want to damage the decal above this line. So we got to be careful with how much heat we put on it. Now that we have all the lines um, put on the RV to spray this little corner here, we're going to try to mask it off and we're going to try to do it with all with one piece of plastic. So uh, let's get started. So we have this little front part masked off. Now, we're, before we started, uh, we said we were gonna try to do this with all with one piece of plastic. So now we're gonna wrap it underneath the here and follow this line over. All right, so now we're up. We're gonna mask this front piece of tape going across the front. And then we're gonna come back after we get that done. And we're gonna tie in this little piece of loose plastic here to this sideline. But we need to find out where this is cut's gonna be. So we gotta start up here at this corner and get this piece secured up across the front.
now that we know where this corner is going to be, we can start with this little sideline right here. have this done we're gonna get back down we're gonna tie in the bottom corner with this little line right here and this side will be done all right now that Rob has the roof all prepped everything's taped off skylights back installed roof fence are kind of installed at least the, the trims are uh, he's going ahead and starting to remove the rubber roof at this point and you can see behind me where he's doing that and just leaving the plywood behind. That plywood's really tacky. It's got contact cement all over it that was holding down the rubber roof. But Rob's just going through and cutting a strip at a time and pulling it right off. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty stuck on there. So as you can see behind me here, Rob has the entire roof stripped off. Everything's prepped and ready to go. And now he's going to begin to apply the primer coat. So what he's doing right now is just going around all of the bases with a brush and then he'll go ahead and roll out the entire roof. All right, so today's the big day. Rob's got the whole RV prepped and ready to go. He's got the primer coat applied. Uh, and now today that the primer coat has dried, he's gonna go ahead and uh, spray the first coat onto the roof of the RV. So uh, should be an interesting day. Everything's taped and plasticed off. Uh, I'll, I'll videotape it as long as I can. Um, and then I'll have to hit the road once it gets too foggy in there. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, you'll even notice that the rain gutters, which is this area right here, are primed as well. And uh, in addition to spraying the roof, the spray goes right over into the rain gutters as well. So it's a really thorough job. It'll be one uh, rainproof membrane when Rob's done spraying it. So uh, he's getting ready to get started on that in just a minute. So here we are the next morning and the uh, white polyurea coat that Rob sprayed on yesterday had overnight to dry. And now today you can see him behind me over here and he's rolling, uh, I guess it's a urethane Euroth type finish, but it's specifically made so that it's UV stable and it'll help preserve the roof and keep the sunlight from uh, damaging it in any way. So. He's rolling on uh, two coats of that material. Uh, after he's done rolling, he'll have to jump down and brush the area on the over cab where we also sprayed, and then he has to brush along the edges of the roof and the gutters and things like that. Uh, so we're almost finished uh, in the process. It's been about, a, uh, I guess, just coming up on a week now. Uh, but every stage has gone really well, and uh, he's just about done. Now that the RV has been sprayed and the two coats of UV stable urethane have dried, the wire tape and plastic are removed together, which creates a nice clean edge all around the over cab and around the rest of the RV roof as well. All 
All right, so today's the last day Rob will be working on the RV um, after applying two coats of the urethane finish and UV protectant yesterday. Everything's dry, good to go this morning. So really all that's left to do at this point is for Rob to install the roof vents and the air conditioner unit, and we'll be driving the RV home this afternoon. So we'll get some video footage of that. It's been raining for several days, which normally would make me sad, but this gives us an opportunity to test our new roof and make sure it hasn't leaked. So we will be back later with the results. All right, now that we finally have a nice sunny bright day, the rain has stopped, we should have a pretty good indicator if our roof is leaking or not. Now, on our Class C roof, there's a screw that's right here and in the past, when I would undo this screw, if our roof was leaking, water would just pour out of that hole. And uh, I'm hoping when I undo the screw this time, it's gonna be nice and dry. So let's check it out. And sure enough, nice and dry. The screw's dry, no water coming out of the hole at all. And so, looks like we're in great shape. Everything feels dry on the inside. Awesome. And I'd love to also thank Rob Mace over at Pasadena Bedlinings for allowing us to shoot the video. It's not every day that you find an RV mechanic or an RV roof repair guy that's going to allow you to literally shoot video right over his shoulder for a week or more uh, as he's working on your vehicle. But Rob was kind enough to do that um, so that we could put this video together and show you what it was like for us to go ahead and get our roof repaired. So many thanks to Rob. We really, really appreciate that. Here we are on top of our brand new RV roof and we could not be happier. We've been through several rainstorms now. Everything's held up really well. We don't have any leaks. Checked inside, everything's dry and we are just super excited and happy with our new roof. Check it out for yourself. I mean, it's beautiful. And speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other YouTube videos, just click right here. And when you do, remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger channel and also hit the notification bell when you do so you'll be notified every week when we put out a new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.